Hey, don't be fooled by the fact that Ian is in the background taking the credit again. I did actually make most of the tea tonight. Ian's just doing the whole carving of the chip. Um, yeah, the stuff that we can't mention while Ian stands around because he'll get. Well, he already knows. You can yeah, tell. He's watching the evidence I got. Yeah, you can tell. So, um, yeah, we're having salad tonight. Just salad. <laughs> How do you guys have salad? Let me know. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Could have had a boiled egg with it. Could have actually. And think about that. It's the effort though, isn't it? That's the problem. I suppose I could have brought one from Alistair when I went. You've got eggs there. Just stick them in the pan with some boiling water. Oh, uh, just this, just that. All these little minutes to do is to fall out of here. It takes away from me sitting on my bum. Welcome back to Haircuts the 80s Forgot About. Um, today I'm making some meatballs with some spaghetti. So, I don't know where the meatballs are gone actually. They're probably still in the fridge. Um, yeah, so I've got work tonight, which is fun. We love work. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a wedding on or not, so I might have some stories to tell you when I get home, who knows. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to sleep on the set, just waiting really for stuff to start. And Ian will be home in a minute, so that's always good. Uh, what else is happening? I don't know if there's anything else to tell you about. Hmm. I need to shave. It's getting a bit out of control now. What do you guys think? Anyway, yeah, I quite love this aerial fringe though. I'm loving, I'm loving that. Maybe I should dye it ginger or red. What do you guys think? Really fresh tonight. Yeah, are you can have a mouthful and tell me what you think. <laughs> yeah, are you filming? Yeah. yeah. So here's tea that Aaron made all on his own. I actually did. He actually did this time. This is what it looks Even like. Out, guys. <laughs> I know. All I did was sprinkle the cheese on, but I'm sure Aaron would have done it if I didn't. But it's a different kind of sauce, isn't it? So I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, it was one from. Was it Polish one? I think it's Spanish. No, Spanish, right? Okay. But which smile do you want it? Little. Little. Oh yeah. god, what's wrong with me? <laughs> it's nice. It's really fresh. Nice taste in tomato sauce and got yeah. our fricadella, in, which are just like little meatballs in there now. Yay! Well. So just about to feed Einstein. <laughs> um. I'm thinking I'm going to be lazy tonight and just get a takeaway because it's Sunday and I can't be the cooking. And why not? Um... Hey, baby. Hey, It was uh, another interesting night last night at work. For some reason, people just seem to like to get drunk and naked at hotels. <laughs> I don't get what that's about, but we do a lot of weddings at our hotel, so we get a lot of drunk people. And um, last night we, uh, well, a lady kind of went missing and the family were like the family was obviously very distressed couldn't find her turns out that she'd been let into another person's room that was with the family like the, with the wedding and um, we had the police called out but basically early that night I was doing my rounds around the hotel and there was a woman that was bottomless <laughs> walking around a bit um, disorientated and I let her into what I thought was her room because she stood outside trying to get in the door so I let her into that room turns out it was her nephew's room um, so they all expected to be in her room she wasn't there she um, the whole family were looking for her everywhere around the hotel on the grounds on the road outside everywhere called the police and eventually she was found in her nephew's room so yeah it was a bit of a rigmarole but 
at the time I said like I've let a woman into her room but then they went to that room expecting it to be that room but it was obviously the other room that she was in oh, it was it was a nightmare it was a long night um, it was a bit of a weird one but I always seems to end up with people naked walking around the hotel anyway <laughs> that's our little story that's a little hotel story for this weekend Hopefully it'll be quieter tonight. Definitely we've got a wedding so We'll see. I look like the nutty professor or something. I don't know what's good. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it looks bad, who knows. Um anyway. Who loves vinyl? I absolutely love vinyl. I don't know why. I think it's probably because my parents played a lot of records when I was little. I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was. I used to have like a record player in my room that I used to play. But um I've decided to put on a record today. This is my all-time favourite record. And I, it's like... It's it's one that... um, It's a record that gets me to sleep every time. <laughs> I think it's because um, my mum brought it when I was little and she used to play it when she used to put me to bed and it sent me to sleep every time and... It still works every time I put it. Every time I put it on and play it, and I want to sleep, it sends me to sleep. But obviously, I can't listen to it without falling asleep. <laughs> it's just a really good record of like. Oh. I'll get copyrighted, so I probably won't leave this in. But... I listen to this and I will probably start making tea or something. And so, hey guys, hey. hey! And so, it's been a while, or been a while since we did a. Oh, well, it's too good to go. And one that we've not done for a really long time. Aaron's excited, you can see it in his yawns. Is we've gone to Starbucks. Yeah. Starbucks. Yay. Yay. And so the, it seems like a lot of more Starbucks, at least around our area, have started to do the Too Good To Go. So I'm guessing they just trialled it and they thought it was successful and allowed. And so this cost a five pounds. And I, I am quite excited because... It does seem a really full bag for once. Did we have any coffee? No, no coffee. But let's see what they gave us. I, I do think that they were, for some reason, they are extra kind to us because they had, like, a tray of the leftover cakes. And when I said I was here to collect it, they got a bag from the back. And then they just seemed to shove all the cakes into our bag. At least that's what it seemed like. So let's see what we got. We can't wait. So, oh, we've got lots of little baggies. So in this little baggie we have some mysterious cake. It's got some sort of cream on top and almonds. Maybe it's coke or maybe no coconut. I'm not. I might. I'll have a look. Maybe look at the end. So we got a little cake. And in here, it looks like, oh, we've got some of the, it's like a, a healthy cake with like nuts and I think banana and what, maybe banana walnuts and like that. We've got a slice of loaf here. And then we've got two Chocolate twists. No. Are you really loud or is it just me? Uh, I'm just just so excited to be doing this too good to go with us all. Yeah. Hey. And then we've got another little baggie. Oh, and then this, this is something I think I want to try anyway. That is the Raspberry Whirl. Oh yeah. Very nice. That looks pretty tasty. And so I think already that is probably what you'd expect to get from a standard too good to go person. 
go, wait guys, there's more! We got another baggie. And then this other baggie, we have, it's a little bit stuck to the top. So like the last thing. It is the same as the last thing. It is another, one of the raspberry swirls. But wait guys, there's more! We've got a rainbow veg and bean protein pot, black bean salsa, carrot, creamed corn and edamame beans and a spice... with spinach and a spicy tomato dressing. Who would not want to numb that down, oh, eh? That sounds and looks disgusting. It looks very healthy. Plant-based, high in plant protein. Okay. That's nice. Then we have got free-ranged egg and mayo sandwich. Aaron likes egg mayo, so he may like that one. Oh, I do, yeah. He does. And then one last thing, it is a ham and cheddar cheese all butter croissant. Yeah. So um, I don't know if I've ever had a, a savoury croissant, but I'm sure it's delicious. I'm sure it is. And so that I would say was a pretty it's good worth haul. For five. Huh? Yeah, because obviously we, with Costa. We started to stop guessing it because we get like three toasties and that was it, which is okay, but that I feel like we got a great variety, an amazing amount. Let's hope the food's better than the drinks from Starbucks. And more excitingly, there's quite a bit of nice treats, snacky, snacky treats. And so, yeah, thumbs up for this time. But obviously, we're too good to go, it's always the look of the draw. So, one day that could be amazing could be a little bit uh, next time but all in all a fantastic one Aaron's so too excited to even stay awake and so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all later bye, bye.